Hi, and in today's quick Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to insert and then go ahead and customize your page numbers. So I've got my default document up here. Now, in order to place our page numbers, we need to access the headers and footers. In order to do that, you can do one of two things. You can place your cursor at the top or the bottom of your document page and double click. And as you can see, the footer and header tabs appear. Or you can go to insert, along to header, click on the drop down, and you can access one of these formats. So I'm just going to double click. And once you've entered the footer, you will also be able to see that we have this additional tab at the top here with this additional ribbon of icons. Now, as you can see over here, we've got our page number. If you click on the drop down and then click page number, this dialog box will appear. Now, from this simple dialog box, you can use this menu here to select where you'd like to place your page number, left, center, right. And then you can go ahead and check or uncheck this box to determine whether you see that page number on the first page of your document or not. Then I'm going to go to Format. And in this dialog box, we can select from this drop down here. And this will identify which sort of page numbers you would like. And then you can also choose to include chapter numbers. From here, you can also select where you'd like your page numbers to start. So if you wanted them to start from number two, for example, if you didn't want them on the first page, but you wanted to start the numbers from two, this is where you can do that. And then simply click OK. As you can see at the bottom here, my page number has appeared. I'm just going to zoom in. Now, when formatting your page numbers, it's quite important to zoom in because it can get a little bit fiddly. So if I want to change the font of this page number or the size of it, I just pop my cursor next to it, click and drag. You can see it's highlighted that page number. Now, sometimes if you click when it turns to a cross, you will highlight the frame around the page number, which we don't want to do. So go right next to the page number, click and drag across until it changes to this gray blue color. Then go to your home tab and then you can choose from all of these font options here to make all the customized changes you need. So if you'd like to make your page number a little bigger, let's say take it to 18 and then you can change your font. And then of course you can go down here and change your font color. You can underline it, make it italics and again bold. Now, if you find that you choose a font such as this one, and here you can see that you can't quite see the font. And this is where we do need to click on the frame. So take your cursor to the edge of this box and it will turn into a crossed arrow and click. And then go to the box on the left or right, center, click and drag. And once you click off, you can now see the entire page number. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.